Harvey, what's going on? Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. It was good, fellas. How y'all doing? What's going on? We good, man. What's going on? Good, chilling. Um, I'm glad y'all talking about um, crypto today because I have some crypto and I wanted to ask a question about Bitcoin. Being that it's like the top dog um, of the crypto, I guess, market right now. Big companies putting in their funds, I guess, into crypto. Being that it's a limited amount of crypto coin, I mean, Bitcoins, um, at what, oh, I gotta word this. When it, I guess, when there's no more coins, will they be pushed to make more coins? Or what is gonna happen after the supplies like um, reaches its capacity? That's it. Well, that's it. But you know, anything is possible. Yeah. So, yeah. but but yeah, that's one of the things that you know the designers of Bitcoin is one of the, is one of these things that's going to be studied for a long period of time because whoever designed it, they captured everything that drives human emotions. Um, and one of the things that drives any investment is scarcity, scarcity model. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the, the 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 key components of Bitcoin is that it's not an infinite amount; it will be capped out. Um, so that's one of the things that makes it so valuable is because it's like, all right, we know at some point there's not going to be any more Bitcoin made. Um, so yeah, and that's just a good lesson just in life in general with anything. Like we just talked about the King Griffey rookie card. The, the reason why it's not valuable, mm -hmm. it's not that, that he's not a, a great player, but there was so many made that it just, it dilutes the whole situation. And it's the yeah. same thing mm -hmm. with, um, like, even if you look at like Kanye, and you know he has these limited re uh, um, releases or any sneaker. You know now the fact that they're limited actually just drives the price up because now you feel like yeah. you know you're part of an exclusive crowd if you can actually own a pair. Own one, yeah. And it makes it more valuable for the resale. So even looking at sneakers, you could compare that to crypto, where sneakers are kind of priced like Nike knows that you know they put these off whites out for how much of those. 160. They know that they're going to be selling for thousands of dollars, but it's like they can sell it for thousands of dollars, but that kind of kills the demand for it because now there's not going to be a, a upsell on the over the counter market. Mm -hmm. So they kind of, they, they understand that even though they're not taking part of it, but they understand the value of that. It's the same thing with like a Bitcoin where it's like, all right, the value of it is like, there's only a limited amount. So yeah. now if I buy it now, that's actually just going to drive the price up for somebody else that wants to buy it from me because there's a limited amount. Yeah, and what they what they do to make sure that it stays relevant is that they have having events. And so if you're in the space, you've seen a having event. We spoke about this on Market Mondays last May, yeah. um, a having event. And so what that really means is the amount that you're gonna earn per hour goes down. And so like if you were making 100 coins per hour, if it was a having event, now you're only making 50. Mm -hmm. And so the next having event, instead of 50 now you make it 25. 25 and so it slows down the process of the supply and so and my thought is that it's going to end right there will be no more made after a certain amount so usually typically when you see having events especially with crypto you'll start to see an influx in, in the appreciation of crypto or of bitcoin and so we set it in may and look at it now right when we said it in may it was like oh it's having an event and everybody was waiting may 20 like oh here it comes and everybody was disappointed, like, wait, this, it didn't move. Bitcoin didn't move. And slowly but surely, as the having started to really matriculate and mature, Bitcoin goes up to 60,000. So, yeah. All right. Thanks. For those of you looking at GBTC, 3490 is not a bad price. Old uh -oh. school, retro. Uh oh. First uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's warming up, y'all. Appreciate you. I yeah, should probably call no a few out. I got you. Appreciate you. Great YouTube, question. YouTube, hit the like button if you can. Please, appreciate you. Appreciate you guys dearly. And you guys stay tuned to the night because I'm gonna give away uh, some scholarships for you guys to be able to invest in the market at the end of uh, the show. So I'm pick five people. Melita, is that you? Did I say that right? Unmute yourself, you've been unmuted. Yes. I said, you know what, yeah. I've been on the road, bro. I haven't missed a name in like maybe two months. Yeah. Shout out to all the people out here. <laughs> how's, it, how's it going? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Just um, always tuning in, you guys are great. You know, we can't say it enough because, you know, you guys really, really matter. So I appreciate it. Really thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Flowers thank you. While here, you heard? Thank you. I thank you. That. Appreciate yeah, it. so it's crazy because um, everything you're talking about is it's just like coming to life. Like, it's weird. Like, I watch y'all. I don't really write down so many notes, but I watch y'all so much that y'all talk about it so much as like, like reoccurrence and it's like a re 
You know what I mean? Like every time you yeah, keep talking about you know. it, like, like you, you mean like when we talk about NFTs with Mark Cuban and then <laughs> yes. every single person in the yes. world starts to yes. talk about NFTs wait. three weeks later? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> when we start saying QQQ and then every other commercial you watch now was a QQQ <laughs> Vesco. Yeah. Vesco, cut the check. Man. Come on, I gotta stop yeah. playing. Oh, how about when we say Microsoft, Microsoft, and it gets my baby, uh, hmm. and they're going into healthcare as we told you hmm. last year, and with Azure or Moderna. When we say Moderna, a little yeah. known um, company in uh, in April of last year, and now they have a vaccine. Oh, yeah. you, you know, it just made, it made me think of when you know things were shutting down, and we said, "Well, people are going to use video conferences. You should look at a stock like Zoom." And then now the whole world used. That, I mean, it's weird how that happens. Who's counting? Yeah, who's counting? That's a fact. But, <laughs> um, I heard y'all heard anything about um? I don't know if y'all talked about it or not. But um, the Gridbot. Grid the ticker. Gridbot. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Gridbot. It's called it's called the Gridbot. So my homeboy Al, he shout out to Al. Shout he, out to Al. Um, he um Al One Dread. Um, he been telling me about this, yo, know, two three years ago. But my mental wasn't there. Like I wasn't ready for it, but now I'm like so ready for it. And I ran back into him this year and we're starting to get into it. So it's called a grid bot. So I'm, st I'm just starting to learn. I'm going to research it for you. We can come back next week and definitely tell, but tell us about it. Yeah. So basically it's like a, a robot, if you will. And it, it, it kind of hedges the market as far as crypto space and Bitcoin. So I'm only going to give y'all what I, I know. I'm not, I told you, I just found out like I'm really into it right now, but anyway, uh -huh. so it hedges. So when the market goes up, um, it buys, I know it sells, it sells. And then when it, the market goes down, it buys. Oh, it, it, it's a trading algorithm. Right. I, so I'll it, look into it for you and test it for you. Yeah. I appreciate that. But yeah, I, I just wanted to um, ask y'all if y'all knew anything about that. If not, then oh, we yeah. all learn about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause that's what y'all doing for us. So yeah, I, we only could give it back. I'm, I'm yeah, looking at it right now. Those. Yeah, I don't know a lot about it, but I, I will tell you, algorithms, that's the next thing. And that's why I'm telling you guys, hey, I need more silence, more patience. My, my next thing, army of algorithms. That's all I'll say. You, you, especially in this space, you need it because you, there's only so many hours you can work. And let's be honest, we may want to get into a move and be afraid. Mm -hmm. So go test it, make sure it works. Yeah, that's, so. that's what I'm about to do now is just... You know, mm -hmm. every, we, as black people, we always so scared to do, you know, anything. And it's like, come on, like if you lose, it's either you learn it or you just move on. Like, it's just, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I got it right here. So now you just gave us our homework assignment. We appreciate yeah, no, you. I appreciate that. I, um, I appreciate y'all too. Y'all keep, 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 keep the thing going. Y'all, I love y'all. <laughs> thank, right, thank, thank you. Appreciate your support. It definitely looks interesting. We just Googled it. Um, I wasn't aware of it, but uh, there's a lot yeah, of, literature. of there's actually a lot of on Google about it. Yeah. Um, so definitely look, I'm gonna look into it yeah. for sure. I wasn't, a, I'm, I'm from the sneaker world. We don't like bots. They take, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, get these bots out of here. I but if you I have the bot, yeah. Yeah, that's true. My graduates from my school being Forbes. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> A mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>